Hello viewers, so we are continuing our uh, congenital series in which uh, we are discussing the various congenital problem by birth problem in the children which are related to the muscle or the bone or joints. So in this series now it's the time to discussion about a neck problem in which the position of neck is tilted. So head is tilted and neck is tilted, the chin is rotated. So this tilt and rotation is known as torticollis. So there are various causes of torticollis. It could, it could be because of some osseous cause, the bony reasons like occipital cervical synostosis, some changes in the odontoid bone. There could be reasons of the nerves like uh, there could be some tumors in the spinal cord and the posterior fossa like syringomyelia and Nolchiori syndrome. And there, there is a, one more common problem which is quite common in the congenital cases is uh, congenital muscular torticollis. So this is also known as wry neck, which is most commonly, you know, can seen in children when they are in the younger age. The parents notice it very first time they see that there is some abnormality in the neck region. The neck is, seems to be rotated and turned. So uh, then uh, you can also see a, a certain other uh, disturbances like in the feet, you can see the CTEV, you can see in the hip region, DDH. You can see in the feet there is a deformity known as metatarsus adductus. So this is basically because of the problem is in the sternocleidomastoid muscle which is over this area. So if this sternocleidomastoid muscle is contracted, so what it causes, if this muscle is contracted, so it will shorten the length, the head will tilt it to the same side where the muscle is contracted and the chin will go in the opposite direction there will be some rotation as well. So this is a combined deformity of a tilt and rotation. So this is about uh, the most common condition uh, which is congenital muscular torticollis. Normally uh, in most of the cases it resolved in one year. If this condition is not resolving in one year then it can be permanently become fibrotic and then in those cases uh, there will be permanent uh, uh, congenital muscular torticollis. So in those conditions we have to be very careful, watchful. If the condition is not improving in uh, one year, then uh, the condition can progress. There is one more deformity. Uh, uh, there is one more situation uh, in which you know the child keep uh, lying down in prone position and the uh, face is uh, just facing the bad. So that area become compressed. The bones are soft. So that causes the plague carefully. There will be abnormal, you know, facial curvatures, and the skull is also seems to be pressed up. So that that is known as the plague carefully. So this is the situation. Normally, it resolves in most of the cases. More than 90% of the cases, it is resolved by itself by some manipulation or stretching. So there are three groups. The Chang does classify three groups of uh, this uh, congenital muscular torticollis. The one it, which is the most common one. Uh, in which there is a sternocleidomastoid tumor group mostly at the, this area clavicular attachment site. The second one uh, in which the muscular involvement is complete, the whole muscle is thickened and tightened and fibrotic. And the third one is postural because of some postural problem, the neck remain uh, in the right neck position or the tilted position. Apart from these conditions, there are certain other conditions in which there could be a uh, wry neck or torticollis like the clipple field syndrome like lymphadenitis some neck lymph nodes are inflamed so because of pain just to avoid that situation the child keep that neck in the relaxing position so the neck uh, remain in the uh, torticollis position also some defect in the eyes ocular defect can also cause uh, such situation there are certain syndromes like down syndrome and spondo uh, spondyloepiphyseal dysplasia so these are different situations. Another rare, rare condition in children, the upper respiratory tract infection. So that res respiratory tract infection can cause some disability in the C1, C2 junction that is known as Grisler syndrome. It is quite rare, but it is possible. You can see in your clinical practices. And you know, once we'll see all these situations, we rule out the positions, what, what could be the reason. If it is CMT, the congenital muscular torticollis, treatment in most of the cases is conservative don't worry for the till the age is one year only do the manipulation and stretching so you have to keep the head in if this this side is stretched you have to move it like this and around five to ten times once and 
complete this uh, procedure many a time in the day 10 20 times so that uh, this thing will be stretched out another thing you can do you can arrange the uh, toys such like the child will try to grab those toys so that can cause uh, manipulation and stretching finally the surgical procedure there are two sort of procedure one is the unipolar release of the sternocleidomastoid which is started from this position of mastoid to the uh, clavicle portion to attachment at the clavicle portion in the unipolar release we release only this part so the clavicle part is being lengthened that is known as z plasty of the clavicular attachment of sternocleidomastoid mastoid muscle and then after we keep the uh, position of head in over corrected position for some time two three months and we continue the physiotherapy after that we uh, use some sort of orthotic for that thing and in the cases of bipolar release we uh, do those th these procedures in very you know severe cases in the neglected cases we you know release the part from the mastoid area as well as from the clavicle area so this is for the severe cases the bipolar release thing so this is all about the torticollis there are so many other conditions as we discussed like the grizzly syndrome the treatment is different and for various syndromes and various things you have to rule out all those situations so it is a very you know good in such a way like it is mostly resolved in 90 percent of the cases but we have to be watchful for this so please like and subscribe our channel keep watching our uh, this congenital series and uh, uh, write some comment uh, in the comment section so that we can improve our things thank you so much